Hair does not make a person, but the freedom to choose how it's worn does. On Sunday, people decided to be present in support for those who can't. So we are here to be the voice of the people of Iran. Noosh knows for many, thousands of miles away in Iran, freedom may feel like an illusion. All of these women and all the people on the streets, they're wanting human rights, they're wanting basic rights, women's rights, environmental rights, economic justice, and they're not getting that. Throughout the country, communities have rallied in the name of Masa Amini, a woman that died in police custody in Iran after being arrested for wearing her headscarf improperly. We've let it go far too long. For Lisa Andreas and her 11-year-old daughter, Amelia, the news feels personal. Our brothers, our sisters, our cousins, our family have been fighting against the morality police for their bangs being shown, their fingernails. They can't wear lipstick, they can't wear fingernail polish. This young woman was doing absolutely nothing. It is time for change. And I want the Irans to be free and not wear a hijab. Amelia may never get to see her family in Iran, but her mother believes here. Freedom for Iran! Freedom for Iran! She still gets a glimpse of what makes her country. Masa, we stand with you! A community that fights for the freedom to choose what they believe. We stand with you! Iran's president did say Masa Amini's death needs to be investigated, but he also did say they need to deal decisively with the growing protests across the country. Reporting in Denver, Jalisa Rosari, 9 News.